Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to be back in front of the camera again. It's been about two weeks where I've been away on vacation, but I'm back home and I need to start getting back into the swing of things. This video is a little bit impromptu, but while I was on vacation, I received a handful of orders and I decided that I might as well film my process on how I make and ship out all of my orders. So come on and join me. I hope that you guys have fun watching me and um, yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> And I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to all of those who have placed an order with me through my small business. And by you guys watching my YouTube channel and placing orders through my small business, you guys are allowing me to crochet as my full-time job, which is a dream. So thank you guys again so much. One of the orders that I'm gonna begin working on right now is the square halter neck crop top. So I'm gonna jump into my handy dandy bag of yarn. Don't judge me guys. Um, if you guys know me, I've got about five times this amount of yarn, but I usually keep all of my very colorful options here in this baggie. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this olive color and it looks pretty darn bright on camera, but I'm gonna be making that square halter neck out of this yarn. And if you guys know me, I already have YouTube pulled up and I'm just gonna be watching other people while I work. All right, so I've just finished up the chain for this top and now I can actually start adding rows to it. It feels so funky to be crocheting again after about two weeks of not touching a crochet hook at all. Um, but um, I need to get these crochet fingers going again. All right, so I'm jumping back on here to update but it's been about 30 minutes and my little crochet fingers are taking a little bit to warm up and get back into it. But as you guys can see, I've got a few rows of that Alpine stitch done for that halter top. I love this green so much. This is how the halter top is gonna end up looking. It's gonna start working diagonally across my chest. Hey, so it is the next day if you cannot tell I've got new clothes on but for a few hours last night I continued to work on that halter neck top halfway done with the top so far and here's what it's looking like the alpine stitches are coming out nice so here's what it should look like I hope you like this if you're watching I hope it comes out great and that you like it All right, hello guys, I'm back again. It's been a couple days, but I have finally finished crocheting that halter neck crop top. But all that I have left to do for this top before I send it out is weave in my ends and create the straps to tie up the back. So let's get into that right now. And you guys already know that I have my coffee to help me get through these custom orders. <laughs> My end is all weaved in and now I make the straps. So I had a live stream when I first got home from vacation and some of you guys said that you would love to see me just kind of making my custom orders and shipping them out, packaging them, and you also mentioned that you'd kind of just like to see me talk or ramble while I work on things. So I guess I can do that for you. I'm pretty good at rambling. A lot of you guys might not know this, but I actually opened up my online shop, I believe back in January of 2021. So I'm relatively new at selling things online. I haven't had my shop for very long, but to be honest with you guys, for a very long time, I was hardly getting any hits on my products. I've got a massive selection of things up for sale on my website, and I do my best to price things pretty fairly. But to be completely transparent with you guys, I actually wasn't getting hardly any orders for about the first four or five months that I've had my shop up online. I've been doing my darndest to just stay positive and hopeful and know that if I just kind of keep on this track and keep at it, eventually it will happen for me. Since January, I've gotten a few small commissions here and there, but it was nothing consistent at all. And it actually wasn't until about this last month that I started getting a handful of orders. And let me tell you guys that it makes me so excited when I get an email saying that a new order has been placed because I actually get to sit down and do what I love and like work 
on these projects and it's very exciting to know that you guys will actually be wearing these items and hopefully you guys will send me some dms or photos of you guys wearing these things so i can post you on my social media and blow you guys up but yeah even though i am still relatively new at all of this i would say that having to run your own business is very difficult and time consuming it's definitely a struggle um I'm still learning new things like on a weekly basis. I still make errors. I would say that my business and my mindset actually evolve on almost like a monthly basis. And another thing that I've kind of learned intuitively is that it takes a very long time for your business or your work to become established and consistent. Um, I've heard a few people say that it takes roughly about 10 years for a business to actually flourish and become successful. Um, so I know that I'm just getting started and this is barely the tip of the iceberg for me. If any of you guys out there, you know, run your own business or kind of have your own side hustle, I applaud you and I commend you for your hard work. This shit is not easy. Um, something else that I've also learned in my short six months of having an online store is that there are going to be good months and there are going to be bad months always. Just like in the first three, four months that I told you guys of having my online store, times were slow and rough and they were not easy going. But on the flip side of things, you will also have good months where your business is coming in strong and consistent and you're getting orders up the butt. But I guess the ultimate takeaway from everything that I'm saying right now is that even though things may not be consistent right now, I know that if I keep at this business and I keep at what I'm doing for the next five years, six years, eight years, it will come for me and it'll happen. I just have to be consistent in what I'm doing on a month to month basis. And above everything else, I always have to believe in myself and what I'm doing and my purpose here, regardless of whether it's a good month or a bad month. I have to have my back more than anybody else because this is my career, my job, my future. And yeah, I just gotta stay true to who I am, spread positivity, spread happiness, and know that it's gonna come back around for me in the end. And commence the rambling, thank you very much. All right, and now that I have the top all strung up and the straps are on, I can finally package this baby for shipment. Hello guys, I am back. It is the next day. I don't know if I even recorded yesterday, but I'm exhausted. I just spent the last three hours straight working on this custom order backless crop top. My hands are tired, but I cannot stop. I have to finish up with the straps for this top and crisscross it all up. She asked for a very custom ordered kind of crop top. She wanted my standard backless crop top but she wanted an extra five inches added on to it. Hello guys, it is a new day. I'm popping on here to give you guys kind of an update on my custom orders, but pretty much for like the last two days straight, I have been working on these dang cups for the aerial top, which way is the right way here. There we go. But here are the two cups that I have all finished up. She actually chose the same exact colorway that I used in the aerial pattern testing video. So that kind of made it easy for me. I just knew exactly what I was going to work with. I knew what to expect. But you guys already know that I love this colorway. It's so gorgeous. It's got bright oranges. It's got green. Little tiny specks there of like baby blue. So I finally finished up the two cups and now it's time for the fun part, which is sewing the two cups together and actually creating the top. So that's what the rest of my day looks like. All right guys, so I'm popping back on here because I have finished up those few custom orders that I've been working on for about the last two weeks. So here is the first item that I worked on, which is the backless crop top. And as you can see, this top is a little bit longer than normal because she gave me her measurements. So I added on a few extra rows to give her some length and coverage. And then the other order that I have, she actually placed an order for two items. So my Tulum bikini is the first item that she has placed. 
just a good old standard Brazilian bikini. And then the second item that's placed in her order is the beautiful and one of a kind aerial top. And again, this is another customized top. She gave me her chest measurements. So I got to make these in her specific cup size with this beautiful Malabrigo yarn. And of course it comes with a lace up back. So now that I have all of these items finally finished up, the very last step before I ship these out is to actually sew on my new logo tags, which I cannot get enough of as well. I customized and ordered these tags over a month back, but because they were coming from international shipping, it took me about a month to get them. But I'm so happy to finally get these in the mail. They're very soft and comfortable satin tags. And of course I got my little logo right there. So in front of me, I have my sewing machine whipped out and it's on the table. And I haven't touched a sewing machine since probably June or July of last year. So it's actually been like a whole year. But yeah, the very last step is to get these tags sewn onto my items and then I can wrap everything up and chip it out. So now you'll just kind of get to see me do that. <laughs> Alright, well this pretty much wraps up my entire process on how I make and fulfill all of my orders from my online store. And again, if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from me, everything is customizable. And of course, I'll be leaving the link down in the description box. But yeah, I hope this video kind of entertained you guys. Thank you guys so much for tagging along with me and just kind of watching my creative process. And a huge thank you again to these wonderful ladies for placing an order and supporting my little tiny business. I really appreciate you guys and you guys kind of make this dream possible for me. And that pretty much wraps up this week's video. We'll see you guys again next time. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.